you are coming with me to my very first art exhibition in Lagos, Nigeria. Let's go. I hit the road and the traffic was crazy because it was a Saturday. Yes, I went with no makeup because if I did, people would have been taking pictures of me thinking I'm part of the art and we cannot have that happening. We finally arrived at the Federal Palace in VI for the Art X Lagos exhibition. Such a perfect location for the event. Art X Lagos happens every year, so if you missed this year's edition, you can always go for next year's. This event is so special, but not just because of the art that is displayed for everybody to watch but also because it's a wonderful way to network and grow your network base right before i left the car i reapplied lip gloss as the lip gloss princess that i am <laughs> yes this is my madame my, <laughs> my colleague and i were so excited going in we had some photo ops and i made sure to take a video for my youtube family we got our wristbands all tight and secure and finally made our way into the building welcome to the entrance of the artex lagos 2023 this is the presentation area i didn't really stay much here because i was busy taking in all the art there was a live performance much later in the day multiple live performances actually but i didn't stay that long now let's make our way into the right wing of the displays upon entering you are greeted with these beautiful displays of pottery some pictures some really sophisticated artworks i was floored i was in awe guys people are so incredibly talented and this is not even the half of it looking at this piece the first thing that came to mind was the number of hours it took the artist to perfect i it. walked into this exhibition and initially i was stunned but upon asking the exhibitor what this art is about i felt so emotional so this artist basically dedicated all the art pieces to his friend that was struggling with body positivity this painting immediately caught my eye and this entire canvas was made of you guessed it coins this was such a beautiful display of the artist's life and this was also made entirely of coins like i was shocked I had no idea I was going to have this much fun at an art exhibition. If you had told me a while back that I would, I would have been like, girl, that's not me. But this really opened my eyes and I would totally recommend everybody to visit an art exhibition at least once a year. All these framed pictures were made entirely of beads. I saw this by Bruce Onobrapea. Sorry if I didn't mention his name properly though he may or may not have made this with the edo culture in mind there's some semblance of edo culture in that bronze work. this was some notable literary art this artwork absolutely gave me chills i have no idea the art technique that was used to make it but it is stunning the blue was equally as stunning and these are paintings yes you heard me right not photographs paintings absolutely beautiful there was a fair share of abstract art and though i may not have understood they have good deep meanings and now onto this 3d picture was made of needles i was shocked i was like eh? needles and it came out this good this is also made by the same artist made of needles i saw this guy walking and i was like huh so i asked if i could take a video of him and with him he's live art i guess and i'm going to add his instagram page so you can check him out if you want to he's also an artist and he's really good something that is so interesting to think of is how two people can look at one painting and have two completely different ideas of what the painter or the maker of the art was trying to put across i love how they attached biographies of some of the artists all across the exhibition and these are just some extracts from notable literary art i saw sugar girl i saw a work by chino achebe i saw a lot and 
reading them it makes me want to go read those books again mba people there is something for you victor and his crew if you look closely those were rotating they were not stationary and i love that touch now this painting i walked into that part of the exhibition and this painting called me it was so touching i loved it and i also spoke to the exhibitionist or exhibitor about it she gave me her idea i gave her my I asked idea her if i was right and she said everybody is right because however art speaks to you is how it speaks to you i walked into the graphic art section i didn't listen because i wanted to get a touch of everything but i really appreciated that there was something for everybody i walked into this section of the graphic art section and there was a display of some pictures from olden days comic books i love that there were portrayals of feminism women's rights some of these were so funny and it's so interesting to see how sophisticated some people's humor has always been even in the olden days this particular one got me laughing this also showed that men have always had audacity it didn't start from today there was this really cute area where people could sign their names give whatever they wanted to put out some people wrote some quotes and whatnot i walked into this display by papa omotayo i love how it felt so cozy i loved the vintage furniture this display is called the hands that remain it's by papa omotayo this was such a cute display of portraits by the artist she made herself her art and i think that is such a brave and beautiful thing to do it's very easy to just appreciate how visually appealing art pieces are without finding out the deeper meaning and when that is the case i feel like you haven't really gotten the full art experience so that was a live video and these are some literary art the stories behind all these art pieces are so appealing and thought jerking this particular one was about a protest of nude women who would riot against things that are happening in their community I couldn't have come all this way without leaving my mark so I decided to write my name on this wall. This marker was failing me. I guess a lot of people had used it before me so I decided to take another one and write my name in another spot. I mean my name can never be too much on a board. I made sure to write my name boldly and beautifully for all to see because very soon it's going to be a household name. Trust me on that. There was also a recording area i don't know why i don't have clips of that i guess i was just taking it and i completely forgot to film but yeah there was a recording area and it was so interesting to hear these artists actually talk about their art the way the artist captured the hair on this statue is very 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 impressive i wish i was able to do stuff like that there were some books to check out, books to read, and this is another statue by the same artist. I wanted to take this home. I really wish I could because it is such a beautiful chest. I was so impressed by the touch of shadows in this art. It literally made the art feel and look alive so so impressive. Now these works gave me a sort of contemporary vibe really very interesting to see i wish i had gotten the full message behind this art now this looked like a publication i love how it really captured the olden days newspaper type of look this was some abstract art and i decided to have a closer at the portrait i had shown you guys previously the way you can feel the emotions behind this painting is alluring i finally got something to eat after i had fisted my eyes enough i got croissants i got ice cream of course and that brings me to the end of my video thank you so so much for watching i had such a lovely time i really hope i'm back next year thank you so much for watching Please subscribe like and share see you next sunday bye